angrydatabases.com is powered by a Postgres database running on PlanetScale. As I play this game and progress through levels and score on these games and levels, it is saving all of my user information and score information in a database on PlanetScale. But did you know there's actually quite a few different ways that you can connect to a PlanetScale database? And in this video, I wanna walk you through the options that you have. Let's start by looking at the database for this app in the PlanetScale dashboard. And you can see that I've got a primary and two replicas, and I also have these two extra boxes that are my PG bouncers. So one way that you can connect to PlanetScale is just a direct Postgres connection to either your primary or to your replicas. My login credentials are already saved in an end file, so I'm gonna go ahead and source that. And then I'm going to connect to Postgres just with PGCLI. So this right here is basically a standard connection where I'm connecting over the standard 5432 port. I'm using my password and username and host name just like normal. And I have what we call a direct connection to my Postgres database. And I can do things like look at the tables that I have in here. Now, one of the several other options that you have is connecting to a PG bouncer. There are three different types of PG bouncers on PlanetScale. There are local PG bouncers, and this is a PG bouncer that actually is on the same host as your primary. We can go over to the clusters page and then look at the PG bouncer tab in here to see that I have a local PG bouncer and you get that by default, but I also have turned on and added a dedicated primary PG bouncer, which runs on a separate distinct host and I've, in addition to that, enabled a dedicated replica PG bouncer, again, on a separate host from the primary. The advantage of using dedicated PG bouncers is that since they run on separate hosts, they can actually help with your high availability. So if there's certain scenarios where Postgres itself and that server might need to restart, these dedicated replica PG bouncers can stay online, continuing to receive connections from your applications while it waits for Postgres to come back online. So in order to connect to those, I'm going to exit out of this connection and we'll paste that same connection string down here. But what I'm gonna to do to connect to the local one, all I have to do is change the 5432 to a 6432. And now I am in my server again, but just going through that local PG bouncer. To connect to one of the other dedicated ones, what I have to do is actually not only connect on this port, but then I have to, after the username, put a vertical bar and specify the name of the PG bouncer that I'm connecting with. So I named the one for the primary, primary PGB for PG bouncer. And so by doing this, my connection will be routed through that. And again, this would be recommended for high availability purposes. And finally, if I want to connect to my replica instances for read-only traffic, with that, I would do my replica PGB, and that name is what I specified in the Planet Scale UI. Use the PG Bouncer port, and now I'm in here as well. And one of the things to pay attention to, of course, is if you're connected to a replica, you can't do writes. That only is for read traffic. So if I go up and I try to do an insert, let's say into the high scores table, it will actually tell me I can't do this inside of a read only transaction. So this indicates I'm connected to a replica, can't do writes. Finally, one of the other ways that you can connect specifically if you're using Cloudflare is through Cloudflare Hyperdrive. This is a really, really good option to use if you're using Cloudflare workers and you want to have some sort of Cloudflare specific connection pooling that your workers can leverage to reduce latency. So after you go in and create a new login credential, if you select this Cloudflare card here and go down, it will show you that uh, you can use Hyperdrive and it actually has you sort of log in with Cloudflare so that there can be a sync between your Cloudflare account and your PlanetScale account. And then when you go into your Cloudflare dashboard, you can configure which database you wanna to connect to and get uh, all of the sort of token and authentication information you need to make the connections to this database. And that's how you connect to a PlanetScale Postgres database. Pretty easy. Hope you enjoy.